What's up guys, Bearded Jeeper here, and today we're painting a header panel. So this header panel was green, like a dark forest green at first. We went through and put a layer of paint on it to be this hammered silver look. The final goal of this is we're going to try to get it to look like this. The kind of battle worn look. Uh, I really like this look and I think it's going to look awesome over the whole Jeep. So we got our base color. Now I just removed the side little marker pieces because I forgot to remove them ahead of time. Uh, doing the base coat. So these got a little bit of paint on them, but I'll show you a neat trick on how to get all this paint over spray off. It's actually easier than you'd think. I also went ahead and took all the bulbs out because I got a little bit of paint on those, but I'll probably end up replacing these. So we're gonna add the second coat of this. So the first coat, I just dropped the can. So the first coat was this hammered steel color. That's gonna be our base and undercoat to get this effect to work out. And I really like going with like a silver for the undercoat just because you get to, uh, it looks more like a metallic kind of substance that you'll, you'll scrape away to. That's the ramen noodle fix. Good thing about this hammered paint and a couple layers of paint you're not even gonna notice that. And for the top layer, just the Walmart Rust-Oleum camouflage green. I really like this green actually when it comes out. Looks a little different than the uh, top of the can here, but I'll show you that. And then the cheapest of cheap, like I think this is like a dollar or a couple bucks can of black. Touch and touch. It's weird, it shows a rainbow on a can, but maybe that's all the colors they offer. But this is just the cheap black because we're gonna wipe most of it off. We'll show you that process. But next step, let's get some of this green. We got a first layer of paint on, well, second layer if you count the silver base layer. You want to do fairly thick coats, that way when you scrape some of it off to give it that battle-worn look, you have plenty of paint to mess with. The only thing I'm concerned with is, this looks a lot darker, oh I guess it looks light right there. So yeah, I think this is the color I used, pretty sure it was, and then the black mixed with it kind of gives it that dirty grungy look. See how army truck green it looks right now? should turn out like this when we're done. Now, the great thing about this paint job is you don't have to be super precise and specific, and it doesn't have to look 100% great each layer, because we're gonna cover it up. It's gonna, like, the more nicks and cuts and beatings on it, gives it that battle-worn look and makes it look like it's been through battle. I don't think they had Jeep Cherokees in any war, but uh, at least uh, it'll look like it's been through war. Next thing you want to do is when this is dry or at least semi dry, you're going to need a piece of sandpaper. And this is where we're going to make the battle worn kind of look. And this is 100% artistic creativity. Like you have an artistic license to do whatever you want. I'm gonna do it a certain way. You can copy that, you can do whatever you want. Uh, kinda add your own style to it, scuff it up how you want. The only thing I, I recommend thinking about when you're doing this is what parts would get scuffed up first on a vehicle or a, 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 an item. You'd obviously hit the higher parts, like the two edges, before you'd hit this middle part. So those are just some things to keep in mind 
as you're sanding it down, but you can do whatever you want. And I'm gonna sand a little bit and then we'll show you the next step. So this is what it looks like. Got some scars here, there, everywhere. So it may not look like much right now. You can only see a little silver now. But wait till we add the black. That's where it really comes in and really starts to look like something. All right, here's the part that gets really interesting. We're gonna take our black spray paint we're gonna spray it super heavy, so it's super runny uh, on a few spots. And then we're gonna wipe most of it off. And what this'll do is it will get down in these little grooves and in some of the crevices, and it'll just give it a really neat look. Now you can do this as dark or as light as you want. You can do multiple coats. Uh, this tends to get messy. Let me see if I can show you one-handed, at least this cheap spot. So we'll take it and like super heavy. And then while it's still wet, And you can see we're starting to get that worn look. So I'm gonna keep going and check back in with you guys when I get some more done. There we go, the finished product turned out pretty good. I might go back through and scuff a few more spots, take a little more bit of the black off. The really neat thing is if you take the black spray paint and you spray, spray a little extra, and get it really wet, it almost wipes off the layer beneath it. So if you add a little too much black, I like the little bit more black to it. I like the green underneath and some of the silver coming through, but I wanted it to look like it's been through heavy battle. There's our ramen noodle fix. It kind of looks like uh, a patch job and looked like it'd been through battle there. I really like how the Jeep logo turned out. I think that looks pretty sweet. And it will look different over time too, as I wheel the Jeep, as I work on it, as I brush up against it, the paint will always constantly be changing. So you really can't screw up this paint job. It's up to whatever you want to make it. I like this green, silver, black kind of battle-worn look. May not be for everyone, but it's what I really like. So that's what's going on the Jeep. All right, that's it guys. Just a quick little update paint tutorial. Got the header panel painted. That's one more step done on Project Zip Tie. Pretty soon, Project Zip Tie is gonna be rolling. I can't wait, and I can't wait to get it on the trails. As always guys, stay bearded, stay cheapin'. I'm out.